my Gucci Spick Please Go, Rumptious Delicious Skippy, welcome to your love tarot reading, Erica Dabber baby, today we are doing the classic you versus them, we're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my baby, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble day, marriage, all right, straight cat from the streets, this is your Feb 24 energy. Um, I do see your person feeling sorry for themselves, but they're also feeling sorry for what they did. So whatever went down between the two of you, they are sorry. They are sorry. Um, they kind of felt like a supplicant though. You know, Six of Pentacles, they felt like they were a supplicant. They felt like you were out of their league because you are, because you're a Scorpios and you're scrumptious, you know what I mean? But they felt out of, your, you were out of their league and they always felt like they, they had to get down on, on their knee or like they had to like be below you. They felt like a peasant basically. And I mean, it is a peasant, okay? But the peasant does not identify as a peasant, okay? Let's see, the magician at the bottom of the deck. I think this person spent a lot of time, be it uh, established or new, when it comes to the relationship. I think that they spent a lot of time trying to persuade you <sighs> that you should be the one on your knee. You should be the one, you know, uh, understanding they're doing you a favor, even though you are clearly doing them a favor. All right, let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. Please show me interest of love. What is going on here in the past? Also, skip you. Welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. I love you. I see you. I appreciate you. Give your mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm, Scorpio, I love you so much. As you know, your mommy is a big old Scorpio, all right? <laughs> the biggest, the biggest Scorpio out there. So, baby, I got so much love for you. We deal with the craziest people. We attract the crazy. The Scorpio lifestyle is a whole different ball game, as you know. Let me know in the comments how you experience your Scorpio lifestyle and also Scorpio if you are interested in a personal reading. All the information is in the description box below my boo boo. All right, page of pentacles for your person in the past. If it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between, uh, you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, it is somebody who was like hopeful, you know? They were hoping for something new. They were ready. This person was truthful. They were actually looking for a relationship. Um, when they told you that, because I think they told you that, but they were like kind of cautious as well and it triggered you and made you like, mm, I don't know. Um, so it's almost like they put you on trial. They were very like <clears throat> a little bit defensive, a little bit like standoffish and they were kind of like, give you what do you bring to the table kind of an energy. You did not appreciate that, Bibbo. You did not appreciate that. Between you temperance. So yeah, this person was like, I think they charmed you because when you first met them, they were very like in it, you know, enthusiastic. I think they sent you some really nice messages and stuff like that. But then very quickly, they became very temperate, very tepid, very like, well, you know, Scorpio, I am looking for a relationship, but I'm very choosy, very picky. Again, you know, because they felt like you were out of their league. So it was like they were trying to neg you a little bit. Mm -hmm. They were trying to make you feel insecure so that uh, they could feel more secure. The three of Cups on your side. Uh, you were like, you know what, Pippo, that's okay. If you're not sure about me, I got options. You know, <laughs> talk to the stinger. Talk to the stinger. Good for you, Scorpio. It's not like you bit them, but you were just like, okay, say la vie. All right, bye, Pippo. They weren't expecting that. Could be also someone who was trying to be like weird in the communication department. So like, you know, their DMs started getting more rare or they tried to ghost you and you didn't notice and then they were like frustrated. Um, you know, there's like something here, like an unwritten message or an unanswered message on their side. Yeah, and that magician, you know, they were trying your most as to make you feel a certain way. Tell me more, please, angels, about Scorpio. Yeah, Five of Swords. You kind of felt betrayed by them because they, uh, I think they represented themselves as like super innocent, super like, you know, I'm an open book. And then very quickly, they try to switch up on you and try to play a game. And you felt betrayed by that. And then you, you, you could have stung them a little bit, just like, you know, in your attitude, or you actually just told them, you know what, Bibi, I got options. Like, mm, no, no, no problem for me, no skin off my game, you know. I don't even know what that saying means. Is that what the saying, like, no skin off, whatever, whatever the skin is. Let's not get, like, let's not get crazy, okay? 
You know what I'm thinking. Anyway, shh, don't tell YouTube. All right, anyways, but Bill, let's get back. This is a Scorpio channel. All right, so, oh my gosh. All right, let's get back into the reading. Uh, if it was an established connection, again, you had a situation here where this person was treating you with a lot of kind of like distance and temperance. And I think their excuse was always like, well, you know, I'm working so hard. And maybe this could have been someone who was at school. This is like, you know, post-grad PhD energy. It doesn't have to be. It could be someone in college, uh, generally speaking. But it's like, I'm getting like PhD energy, like difficult PhD work. They're like <clears throat> chipping away at, at some kind of a project. And that was their excuse for not being present with you emotionally. Uh, or they have a job that doesn't pay very well, but it requires a lot of time and effort. And they always had like a bit of a grudge towards you because whatever you're, you're doing, Scorpio, seems to come easily to you. Even if you don't make a lot of money, like you seem to have an easy life, you know, you, because, you know, that's the Scorpio charm, you know, like nobody knows what's going on on the inside, like all the way, how much turmoil and hard work. It's almost like this person was always resenting you. If you had children together, this person could have felt like they had to take care of the children or they felt like they were t taking too many responsibilities in the household when you should have been the one doing that, but you were out there doing your thing, being successful, schmoozing, maybe you're in the public eye, maybe a lot of people notice you. I'm seeing a lot of that here, a lot of that resentment, you know? And they felt like they could, you felt like they weren't contributing to you emotionally. They felt like you weren't um, recognizing how hard they work. And, you know, again, this person always felt like they were below you, beneath you in some kind of a way. Be it looks, be it money, be, be it success, something was off. Um, for some of you, problems could have started <clears throat> because um, you couldn't have children or you decided not to have children uh, in this relationship if it was established, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> boo, boo I just got a very weird notification. All right. <laughs> Never mind. It's very random. So yeah, you might be receiving unexpected messages, Scorpio, by the way, but random ones. Um, even tonight, you know, like you could be receiving a message from another, not even this person, but somebody else, like totally like out of the blue, someone you're not expecting. Um, three of Cups, yeah. But, but what was I saying? The, um, the person always felt like they were kind of beneath you and you could have had a marriage here where you couldn't have children or decided not to have children and that in the end became a bone of contention because that person has kids on their mind, put your pedicles, you know, their legacy. So it could have been like, you know, um, conflict over, should we have babies? Should we not have babies? Ultimately, you felt betrayed by this person because I think they gave you one version of what they wanted in the relationship and they could have done like um, a total U-turn, like 10 years, five years into the relationship, baby. Or 20, you know, even more. It felt like a betrayal. They do see it was the one for them though. They do, see, well, maybe not even for them. This is the problem. They see it was the empress. So they see it was the one who has the most as. They see it was the one who is crowned by the stars. They see it was the one who has this uh, scrumptiousness as sparkle, you know? Um, almost unattainable, this is, this is the issue. It's like they're jealous of you. The Six of Swords and their intentions, they would like to at least reach some kind of peace with you in this rift or separation. They want to reach some kind of peace. They don't want to continue feuding, but they also don't necessarily, um, they're not necessarily planning to reach out with, uh, it's, you know, the, the hand of scrumptiousness and peace. Um, you have the tower here in the short term, but Bill, be careful. This person may do something to trigger you in the short term. They may do something evil even, something against you, something to make you jealous, something, you know, they're going to post something on their Instagram just to mess with you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't talk right now in this reading. So, you know, maybe like, you know, communication is going to be bad. Or they're going to miscommunicate something. You know, it's almost like someone's this person is going to do something like to make you jealous, post on Instagram, or they're going to like um, call you and be like, oh, just to let you know, I'm dating somebody else. You know, it's just going to be like childish games or they could do something real mean and unpleasant and it's going to leave you speechless or like you're going to be all jumbled up, up like you're not see, see what I mean? Like I'm channeling this like energy of like, how is this even possible? Um, and it's going to be weird. 
they might send you a weird message, but there's a weird message coming your way, not just from them, from somebody else as well. Let me know in the comments below what it was uh, when it happens. But yeah, the tower, be careful. And then the Knight of Cups. So this is the problem with this person. Ultimately, they will be coming in. Very scrambling energy too, by the way, the tower and the Knight of Cups. So in the next seven hours, seven days, seven weeks, the person is coming in with some kind of a peace offering. And they're gonna be saying, uh, first they're gonna do something mean against you, and then they're gonna say, oh, but Bill, I was just kidding, I love you so much. They're trying to get uh, a reaction out of you. Let's get some advice for Scorpio. Please show me, show me angels of love. What is the advice for Scorpio? Oh, the high priestess, all right. Bill, follow your intuition. You are the Scorpion. This is your card in the tarot as well. I read the High Priestess of Scorpio energy. Um, you just know. You're, you, what you know, you know. You already know what you need to do. And uh, this is also about keeping your cool, keeping your calm. Don't get provoked by this person because you know that you have the power. You got the power of the Scorpion. Nobody can outplay or out silence the Scorpio. It is what it is. Um, call upon. Call upon the energy of the dark goddess, like, you know, whichever archetype, pantheon you relate to, uh, tradition when it comes to the goddess, but the dark goddess can really help you right now. It doesn't matter if you're a boy, girl, anyone in between, the goddess will help my boo boo. Uh, all right, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your theory. Also, if you vibe with my channel, you know what to do. And for personal readings, all the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm-hmm.